Hello everyone, welcome to a new Choganet video interview. Um, well, with Chichu y Las Vegas just around the corner, so it's just one month away from, from its kickoff. Um, we're trying to speak with uh, some of the leading exhibitors that are going back to Las Vegas as an in-person event. And one of them is Suso App, uh, leading uh, provider of cash uh, management services and, and software and hardware products for the global gaming industry and the sports betting industry as well. Uh, so today we're joined by Todd Sims, uh, the company's vice president of sales, gaming and amusement for the Americas. So uh, hello, Todd. Thank you for joining us today at Shogunet Gaming News. Yeah, hi, Juan. Thanks for having me. Well, so um, after it was it was a, a hard time that we, we sprints in the in the gaming industry uh, with the, with the in-person events practically uh, out of the picture. So now with C2E uh, uh, one month away, uh, we would love to have your first hand details and, and where, where the, the SASU swaps focus will be in, in, in Las Vegas, what, what you expect from, from this return and, and, and what visitors can expect from the company in, in Las Vegas. Sure, well, First of all, I'm I'm glad that the show is uh, is is going to happen. Um, we're expecting that it, it'll be mostly a domestic show. We're very hopeful that uh, our international customers will will be able to join and and, and come over to uh, to the U.S. But uh, but I, I suppose there's still some question about that. Um, for the you know the the recent shows, the recent gaming shows. Uh, you know, over the summer with uh, uh, NIGA, for example, uh, attendance was okay. Um, I think uh, hopefully that that foreshadows what we'll see uh, in the U.S. at G2E. Um, but uh, no matter what, uh, we're very excited to, to talk to our customers at G2E and get back together and get uh, be able to see everybody once again. Sure, sure. Um, well, uh, you know, we had a recent interview with uh, Suso Apps, Vice President of Sales for Europe, uh, Tim Kennedy. And he mm -hmm. mentioned um, the new sports betting terminals, a second generation uh, technology focused on the consumer journey and, and player behavior. Maybe I, I was hoping you could, you could uh, elaborate a little further on, on, this, on these concepts and, and how can, uh, will we able to see this reflected on, 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 on your final products? And, and also what do you expect these terminals um, performance, how, how they will be competitive in the US market? Yeah, so I think um, I think we've all seen the first wave of uh, sports betting terminals in the U.S. have been the podium style kiosks, uh, where they're they're really designed to be a transaction or a, or in, in not have a queue of people in front of them, uh, but rather the better should come up, place their bets, usually a pregame bet, uh, get their bet slip, and then and then move on, uh, so so that the next person can come and make their transaction, um, but what we see in Europe, where sports betting is is, is a more mature market, um, uh, uh, up to 70 to 80 percent of the play or of the betting is in play betting, uh, meaning uh, people are placing prop bets during the game, throughout the game, maybe during timeout or or in between plays of its football. So so that is what is driving the revenues uh, in Europe. And a podium style kiosk does not match with with, with that type of play. And we expect, and we see that that in-play betting uh, becoming, is a growing part of the market in the US. And and you need the right terminals to do that. You know, certainly a mobile device is, is one answer, but there's still quite a large demand for kiosks within the, uh, in the facility. So we've designed, um, the right type of kiosk for that in-play betting to capture that in-play betting, both in a tabletop uh, type of device, and then also um, there's a uh, what uh, gaming people would refer to as a slant top, where someone can sit and it'll be a time-on device machine, meaning somebody will sit in front of the, that kiosk, place their bets, uh, watch the game, place bets um, throughout the game, and, and make it a, a much more leisurely experience. Great. Well, very clear. Um, is there anything else that, that you have learned from in this uh, in these past few months about the the markets that we're seeing 
for example, we're seeing Arizona and, and many other emerging markets in the US. Um, when, when sports return, uh, have you seen any shift in, the, in, the, in player behavior in, in terms of how betters understand uh, sports betting? Um, is, is there any, any insights that you could provide to understand how sports betting is, is being conducted today in, in the US? Yeah, I think I think what's become clear is that uh, sports betting, particularly in a casino environment, sports betting has been somewhat of an island upon itself. Meaning, uh, a, a casino patron, uh, maybe a, a you know a carded player, uh, wants to have all of that play and all of the spend within the casino resort tracked, and the casino certainly wants that so that they can uh, send send the information or uh, send uh, uh, coupons and, and promotions back to the player. But, uh, but sports betting uh, so far has been somewhat of an island and separated from the rest of the resort. So uh, a tighter integration uh, between the resort play and the, and the sports betting play is becoming more and more important. So it's, that's driven by both the players uh, and the casino resorts themselves. And we'll be showing uh, a demonstration of that at G2E. Right, very interesting. And and are, are there any other products or services that, that uh, maybe attendees can can be looking for uh, at your stand? Um, and maybe you will you be participating in any educational activities or 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 other or other, uh, networking activities in particular in in Las Vegas? Yeah, well, part of so so the first part of your question, uh, part of that integration with the rest of the resort. Uh, is uh, includes the ability for a player to cash out, uh, and you know once they win a bet, hopefully they they win, right? Everybody wants to win. Um, then it time it comes time to get their money back, and um, that can sometimes be a multi-step process uh, for the player, and perhaps not the greatest experience. Um, so so we're we have uh, um, worked hard with a. Um, a cash redemption terminal manufacturer uh, out of Germany, and we'll be showing that at G2E. We're, we're now our distributor for them uh, here in the U.S., and we're showing an integration with the with the sports betting experience and a cash redemption terminal. Um, so I think that'll be uh, you know very well received. The meetings that we've had so far, it's it's been exciting for both the players and the and the terminal operators. Great, great. And as for the educational um, activities, uh, you won't be part of any any panel or discussions or or, or no, just the no. commercial no. exhibition. Just the commercial exhibition, yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, well, maybe we can uh, talk about the uh, something that we we have already discussed in our previous interview with Suso App uh, about cashless payment. Um, we are seeing increasing demand from operators. Uh, maybe, well, uh, recently the HEA uh, president, CEO Bill Miller, specifically talked about the importance of, of cashless, cashless payments at, at land based casinos in the US. Um, so, we would like to know how exactly is SUSWAP um, getting ready to address uh, potential in, uh, increased demand in the coming and upcoming months? We are already seeing it, but Maybe it can it can grow. So there is growth potential in the US. Um, so how 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 will you plan to to enhance your offerings in the in that area? Yeah. So ca cashless certainly uh, with newer casinos, you've seen uh, resorts world open up here in the in Las Vegas over the last over the summer. Uh, basically, a completely cashless environment. Um, so I think new properties start off with with offering cashless, and there's certainly there's a lot of advantages to a cashless environment. The um, existing properties, though, uh, it could be challenging to move to cashless. It could be, you know, a result in a system upgrade, which which might include both software and hardware, and, and be very very expensive. Um, so we do we are showing a a, a method uh, at G2E. We'll be showing a method where it's a I call it a bridge to a cashless environment. So, um, you know, for those properties that don't have a cashless system uh, or a system capable of, of, of being cashless. Uh, when a player is sitting at a slot machine, say in the middle of the floor, and, and it's time to you know, get more money out of the bank, they typically have to go in, in search of a, uh, an ATM machine uh, to pull more cash out and then, and then 
and then walk back to their game to uh, to put money in. So that's that uh, it takes a break in the action, um, that, but that's time away from a machine, which which can result certainly in a, a decrease in coin in and and uh, uh, a little bit less of an experience for uh, the player. So we're showing a device at uh, at G2E where uh, it's a small smaller than an ATM and it's designed to fit at the end of a, a slot bank. Uh, where a player can put in their ATM card, so their their bank card. It's a um, and it's an open loop system. So uh, put their bank card in, and then and then make a transaction. Let's say I'm going to take out a hundred dollars, um, and then out the machine instead of instead of giving a hundred dollar bill to the player, it'll give a hundred dollar Tito ticket. So it's fully integrated with the casino CMS. So now you can take that uh, ticket and put it right back into the machine. Um, it's designed to be at uh, you know placed throughout the casino floor. It's at a it's at a size and, and a price um, that that uh, uh, makes it conducive to put it up you know sprinkle them throughout the casino floor and make it very easy for the uh, casino patron to make these transactions and and keep the action going. Wow, very interesting. Um, maybe well, I don't know if you can uh, tell us a little more about your um, expansion expansion plans in the U.S. Uh, if there are any particular markets that are uh, that are your most focused in, I'm talking about the jurisdictions in the U.S. Um, we are we're seeing uh, many of them uh, in the in the in the in the in the midst of the process to to um, regulate their their markets. So, um, which one are you most interested in? Uh, right now, um, and what are your plans for for the upcoming months in the in the in the in the Americas in general? Right. Yeah. So, so Suzo Hap, you know, we've got a long history of uh, supplying uh, uh, parts and and products to uh, all of the markets uh, in the U.S. And so there, you know, to see that the industry is has rebounded as strong as it has from from COVID uh, has been been fantastic. You know, it's good for us all. Um, in, in Q2, I think is when uh, we saw all the casinos basically open back up to uh, to full capacity, and and certainly business you know and results have, have reflected that 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 reopening. Um, for us, um, it's you know to continue to support the industry and making sure that we're delivering products that they need, and but then also uh, looking at the emerging markets like sports betting, uh, as we discussed. I mean, sports betting is. Is certainly the fastest growing uh, segment of our business, and and it's been really fun, and it's such a, a dynamic business, and, and to see it evolve is is, is 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 a whole lot of fun, and that's where a lot of our focus is today. Right. Are there any other events that uh, you're already confirmed that you will be attending in, in uh, this year? Uh... Yeah, we're evaluating. It's um, you know there, there's still a lot of uncertainty I think about about COVID. Um, so so we'll see how G2E goes. So hopefully it's very successful. And and if so, then uh, uh, you know then then I think that'll open up uh, um, to, to to more shows and more events throughout the year. But uh, but I, I think we're we're still being a bit cautious and and to see uh, what happens with uh, with the COVID uh, fallout. Yeah, yeah. Well, well you, uh, we have recently confirmed that um, G2E is asking uh, vaccination proof for all attendees and exhibitors. So you're you're comfortable with the, with these uh, new restrictions yeah. that Global Gaming Expo is taking? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I think uh, you know having a vaccine um, coming to a trade show uh, is, certainly is uh, makes a lot of sense. Sure. Uh, well, one one last um, reflection from you, if uh, um, because you have you had uh, mentioned in our last chat um, these uh, new trends in the gaming industry, um, considering the iGaming and esports betting, um, and you also mentioned an expansion in, in lottery and bingo. Uh, so I, I just would like to to finish off with your final reflection on how you think um, in the coming years SusoApp will will we able to leverage these uh these uh new trends um and be it indirectly or directly directly uh or if you are watching um closely any other um upcoming trends or technologies in in the market in the in the broader industry 
Yeah, we're well, we're always looking closely at at those trends and and trying to stay ahead of it and and be able to supply the markets uh, where the markets continue to grow. We're always looking for new products to uh, uh, to distribute. So we 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 design and, and engineer and manufacture uh, parts and products for our customers, but we also distribute a lot uh, of products that are are best in breed. Uh, and, and we'll continue to do that and continue to add products to our to our lineup. Great. Well, Todd, thank you very much for your time today and all these insights. Uh, we certainly look forward to seeing your products uh, showcased in, in Las Vegas again. Um, maybe catch up soon for, for feedback and performance there. Yeah, that'd be great. Hope to see you at the show. Thanks. Have a nice day. All right. Take care.